Welcome to the final conclusion of Back to the Future trailers. I wish it was like Santa Claus, where we did all three trailers, and since I hate on numbers, I did another trailer to the second clause, you know? But I wish it was all one video. But plans changed, and then I decided to do a part two, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, let's make it a trilogy then. <laughs> and so it's the opposite of Back to the Future. The first two are the ones that connect, and the last one is just an extra, and this is the last one, okay? The final conclusion of the review of Back to the Future trailers. Not true, I will do more Back to the Future videos, but for now, yeah. The other video would have been like 20 minutes. I only spent like, I looked, I only spent like five to seven minutes talking before I started the video. So it wasn't bad. But then since I wasted time trying to figure out how to get it to work and then coming over here and then explain my situation, it made it 28 minutes and then 29 minutes when I wanted to end it. So snap, I have a long video to cut, but it's going to be an easy video to cut because there was a lot of mishap. So that's good. A couple days ago, I was playing with my sister Malin and she was behind the bed and I was going <laughs> to, I was going to see if she was behind there because at the time I didn't know. Malin said she was behind the bed, and I wanted to come say hi, but when I leaned over, I fell off the bed. Uh, the blanket and the pillow and everything just fell right on top of me. I didn't drag them off. They just automatically fell on top of me, so I thought that was funny. Then um, I had a lot of few stuff fall on my head, too. And uh, when I got up, I ended up with a bag around my mouth, <laughs> and I thought it was so funny. I took a picture, and then I took a picture of the mess. So... Um, enjoy those pictures. <laughs> These are the two trailers we're watching. The part three trailer, that's only almost a minute, and then this trailer, okay? So, there would have, if you watch the movie, it does say summer coming soon, 1990, but they were able to cut that out in that trailer. So that was cool, right? Because it doesn't come this summer or next summer, guys. This is an old movie. It's 30 years old, the first one is. The second one just got 30 years old today, and the third one's 29 years old. It will be 30 next year. So, and it's on the 2020s of the greatest actor. I never said that backwards before. You know how I used to say the greatest actor of 2020? I said, on the tw 2020s of the greatest actor. Okay, I want to do this, but I'm doing it differently. And since it's Back to the Future, it deserves a trilogy video. So since this is the last video of that trilogy, <laughs> uh, my Back to the Future playlist will now, after this video, be 12 videos long. It used to be 10 after I did part one, and now it's going to be 12. <laughs> this is truly a Back to the Future Friday. I tried recording all the Back to the Futures, and I couldn't. This was so disappointing. I spent a week from Saturday to now, you know, because I last Saturday I wanted to watch Back to the Future. I was so exhausted from a callbacks that I wanted to watch it, and I couldn't watch it because I couldn't find my DVDs. And I couldn't afford renting it or buying it on demand. And I couldn't record it because I didn't have those chants. So, I don't know what's preventing me from watching Back to the Future, but I just can't watch it. It's been almost a week now. Actually, this third video I wasn't actually going to make at all, but decided to make it. But before the first and, video, and second video messed up, you know. You know, so this one didn't really change at all. So, it's good, you know. <laughs> obviously, I couldn't add it on with the other video, so obviously I was going to remake this video. I mean, not remake it because I haven't made it, but yeah. 
you know what I mean. No dialogue, you know. They're just giving you what was, everything that was going on. It was mostly focused on the beginning where Marty was running, you know, from uh, from Tannen. Uh, dog Tannen. Man dog Tannen, you know. And then it, it showed a little bit of further on when when Clara is, sh is appearing and, he, and she's dancing with Duck. And then you can and you can kind of get the end of it a little bit, and then you get the beginning of Marty and Duck trying to get back to the future, you know. And then you get the part where they take a picture by the clock, and so there's that. The only ending part you get is when Marty kisses Jennifer, so you can see that they almost are done filming the thing, right? Yeah, but that was part three. Let's do the other trailer, and then we'll end the video. We were sitting in the theater, waiting for the Royals to come in, and I realized that the seat next to me is empty, and then it dawns on me that Princess Diana is going to be sitting next to me. The movie starts, and it occurs to me that I'm like, like a fake yawn and an arm stretch away from being on a date with the Princess of Wales. <laughs> visiting my parents over the summer of 1980, came across my father's high school yearbook. My father had gone to the same high school that I went to. And I'm thinking, if I'd gone to high school with my dad, would I have been friends with him? It really is, for me, and arguably the greatest time travel movie ever put on film. If we would have done something different at one moment, would it have changed our whole lives for the better? I think it's the best thing that I've ever written. I mean, along with Bob, of course. Zemeckis and Gale really found lightning in a bottle. You probably have one of those in you in a lifetime. Lightning in a bottle tends to stick around for a long time. People. Universal put us in touch with a product placement company. They said to me, if you change the DeLorean to a Ford Mustang, you'll get $75,000. And I looked this guy straight in the eye and I said, Doc Brown doesn't drive a f***ing Mustang. Actually, future knows no boundaries within a certain country. It's worldwide. It reaches everyone. It has such resonance with what we're trying to do with Secret Cinema. You can be anyone you want to be, and you can do anything you want to do. They want to be Marty McFly. They want to travel back to the future. They want to fall in love with their mother. I'm joking. I actually kind of connected a little bit with George McFly. He's a guy that was an outcast. He had big dreams. He had big goals of being this person that no one else thought that he could be. Here's this iconic piece of so many people's childhoods just sitting there falling apart and rotting. Something's got to be done about this. Let's restore it. I'll do it. It's great to have a bunch of lunatics on your side. We maxed out that card on a door. What are they doing with that car? They drive around the country working for Michael J. Fox's charity. They're crazy, but they're crazy good. It was the right thing to do. Life has taken us places we really never knew it would take us. And that's what Back to the Future is about. The movie defines the taste of butter popcorn. And of course, you pick the right song. Hey. Um, it was cool that the trailers were next to each other. I was actually looking for part three. I even put it in the search bar. <laughs> and, you know, and sometimes it doesn't just show part three trailers or part three anything. It just shows, you know, other trailers as well, like part one and two. And it was cool that I was able to get part three and that trailer you just saw next to each other so I could play both of them <laughs> without having to look for one or the other, right? So that was cool. There are other trailers of Back to the Future, but they are hard to come by. Those trailers I just showed you were the easy ones you can find on YouTube. The other ones are more hard to find, you know. So, like, if you want another Back to the Trailer review that hasn't that doesn't have to do with these trailers that I'm doing right now, it's going to be really hard to find another one because those are the only trailers you can easily find on YouTube. I just basically showed you all of them. There are trailers to watch the TV series. Uh, there are there is another Back to the Future TV series coming to Netflix right now, and if you want to watch that, it came out last March. You know, there's that. You know, but I'm not here to talk about the cartoon versions or the video game trailer because there is a video game trailer. So there are actually easy more trailers out there. You know, but I'm talking about the live action ones, Back to the Future Part One, Two, Three, and then even though they didn't, this wasn't really a movie. It was a movie of them talking about the film, live action version, not in their 
character cartoonish, you know? So basically in live action form, these are all the trailers you have. <laughs> Call it the opposite of Back to the Future. Call it similar to the Back to the Future schedule. Call it whatever you want, but it's still Back to the Future. Because I'm talking about Back to the Future in the video. If I'm talking about Back to the Future, it's a Back to the Future video, if I'm talking about it. Because on my Back to the Future playlist, I put an Andy Mack video on there. The reason why was because I talked a lot about Back to the Future on there. <laughs> if it's just a brief, that doesn't count. But if it, if it takes like half of the video, that's why it counts. So yeah, and that was the trailer to, to talk about it. You can kind of, just watching that trailer, you can kind of tell what it's about. I'm, I actually have it recorded. That's the only thing I could record, because it was a channel I afforded, you know? That's not a rhyme, but for some reason, the way I'm wording it, it feels like a rhyme. So forgive me. So this one was kind of perfect. So, it's not perfect. That's why I said kind of. I should say, great. I don't know what word to replace. But, yeah. Um, they even mentioned on there that it was worldwide. So as you see, I'm telling the truth. It was worldwide. It didn't have any limits between each country. They also wanted to restore the Do DeLorean. That's basically the whole second half. That's what it's kind of about. And then the other stuff you kind of saw, you know, was basically the first half, you know, the history behind Back to the Future. Uh, it, it talks about at least 90% of the history. If you want the full hit 100% history, I have a pamphlet that I showed you in another Back to the Future video. So, you can get that. Um, the only thing I don't have from Back to the Future is the video game. So, I, ha I have the whole collection of every single DVD of Back to the Future. DVD. Not everything about Back to the Future. I don't have, like, I do have the Pop Heads and I do have the DeLorean, but there are stuff I don't have. Like, maybe a Lego version of the DeLorean, or, like, there's a hundred things I don't have. A hundred objects I don't have. But, DVD-wise, I'm just missing the video game. And honestly, I don't care because my Wii box has been missing lately. And it's a good thing we didn't do that Mario series because I don't think we'd finish in time. Given the fact that we're moving. We moved last year. But, yeah, I can't find those EVs because they're lost, though. So, oh well. <laughs> you, don't need to, you don't need to know exactly 100% about Back to the Future. So, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> you know, but it's my favorite movie. So if it's your favorite movie and you want to take the risk of knowing 100%, go ahead. But with that, we're going to end the video. Lanny Mills is out. That was probably a lot of talking, but it was better than part two. So, we'll see you tomorrow on the Brattle Bins, the Brattle Bins. Enjoy having your summer. Some people are actually getting out today. Since I got out on Wednesday, I already started my summer. But if you, if you already started your summer this, this past week, still enjoy your summer. At 21 plus 29, two odd numbers make an even. And that's a good way to end this Friday, right? Two videos, and then they're both odd numbers that make an even number. If I cut it out and I'm wrong, it's still okay. So, we'll see you in the next video. Lenny Mills is out on the Brattle Bins, the Brattle Bins. Uh, bye.